Hey everyone, real quick. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, share this video on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or whatever social media platform you use, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Those are the three biggest things you can do to help our channel grow and to support our channel. That brings me to my next thing. A lot of people have been asking about how they can support us. And while we appreciate the offer to give monetary donations, we just don't accept them. What you can do instead is there's a link down below in the description. That link will take you to Farm Focus website that has our Freedom Farms merchandise on it. All of our apparel on there is 100% made in the USA. The shirt is made here, the decals are made here, and then they're put on the shirts all here in the United States. There's also decals on there and shortly there'll be sweatshirts. So if you're interested in that stuff, please go check out Farm Focus website. The link is down below in the description. It'll take you straight to our shop. Thank you and enjoy the videos. Well, you may not be able to tell by the way I'm dressed, but it's actually mid-May. I don't know why it's so cold. This global warming is getting out of hand. Anyways, since it's so nice and cold and windy and wet out, we are going to service the truck, the 7045, and probably the 5020. And then I gotta be somewhere at noon. I gotta take somewhere, Chrissy somewhere for Mother's Day. Cause I gotta work on Mother's Day, so. But, we'll get her out and about and we'll social distance while we're out there. But, until then, I gotta get all this stuff taken care of. So, let's see what we can do here. Here comes the cold start. Two degrees this morning, roughly. So for a tractor with no glow plug, no intake heater, basically no sort of uh, cold start aid, it's a little chilly for it. This one's in the same boat, but since that one is turbocharged, it has a lower compression ratio. This one's not turbocharged, so it has a much higher compression ratio. So if I don't use the glow plugs, it'll still start pretty easily. While those warm up, we need to empty out the side-by-side -side so I can change the oil in it too. It won't start without the keys. Crap. So, in this top left corner up here, you're gonna see a swirly mark right there. Oh, just went out. Those are the glow plugs. Makes a big difference in starting a diesel when it's chilly out. The 5020 actually has glow plugs. I have to fix it though. There is a broken wire somewhere. Something's going on where the glow plugs don't actually function. It's got power to them and everything. So we gotta check on that. To take the keys out before we start. Forgot. It's kind of my way of saying, hey, don't touch this. Drain quicker. <laughs> Had a little bit of a mess, but not much. Oh, I can live with that. It's almost done draining.
Alright, what can do? That, my friends, is a heck of a place for an oil filter. I don't know if you can see it. Ever start a project thinking it's gonna take you five minutes? I thought this was gonna be like our old Ranger where it was real easily accessible. I was wrong. But it's not too bad. Looks like I'm just gonna take this off and pop these out of here. Right there. Actually, we're gonna put this back on. That we don't get no dirt in there. Yeah. And then it won't be too bad. It's just right there. It's just awkward. Good to go. Look at that. Just a hair over full, but once we fire it up and it fills up that oil filter, that'll bring us back down. Make too much of a mess. Not too bad. Put that right there. Filter. Filters, filters, filters. This one. We will not need the fuel filter, which is what that one is. We only change it once a year, and I already changed it earlier, uh, really early in spring. So. It's gonna dribble a little bit, but that's not bad. I can live with that. Oh. Yeah, we should saw that coming. I already wrote it on my board over here. Like I said, maintenance is very important to me. Not only because our equipment's old, but because I want it to last a long time. I'm not saying I would, n I'm not saying I would never buy a new tractor, but I really don't want a new tractor. If I was ever to buy another tractor, it would actually be an Alice Chalmers 80, well, it'd be an 8,000 series. So either an 80, 10, 30, 50, or 70 with front wheel assist. But it's a little out of our price range because I also need a loader for it.
it's the important things that you have to get ready for in springtime. You know, getting your animals ready to, to go through the pastures, you know, making sure the pastures are in good shape. That's the important stuff. And if you're married, making sure the pool is going to be clean by the time the weather gets warm. All right. It got dark on me because I was talking with the neighbor when they stopped by to help me with my air conditioning on my tractor. Um, yeah. Anyway, real simple. Drain plug is right there. Funnel, five gallon bucket. This holds 20 quart, or sorry, 19 quarts of oil, basically 20. So I'll drain this. And then uh, after I drain it, we will turn around take the filters off which are right here and you know, we'll see because the light probably oh you can right there and there and then we'll be ready to ready to rock for hay let's put you on time lapse I'm not gonna show you guys where I write the hours and everything on there. I do it on everything. You saw it earlier. No point in repeating. Take a guess where my filters are made for the tractor. All right, everyone. That's gonna do it for this video. There's a giant smudge on the camera can't fix it because my hands are real oily but i hope you all enjoyed it stay tuned hay season's coming you're gonna see this big girl working that mower conditioner will be working the baler will be working and we'll borrow a hay rake from the neighbor i hope you're enjoying the channel if you are please hit that like button on the videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already other than that have a blessed week and we'll see you next time